Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we're discussing Rumber by Ellen Hopkins. This month I've been working with Simon & Schuster who sent me the book. Rumble is our September book of the month. There will be a live show where we'll be discussing it further here on October 4th. Rumble is an Ellen Hopkins book and it's my first Ellen Hopkins book that I've ever read. All her books are pretty dark and deal with intense subjects as does Rumble and they're written in free verse. Like, like look at it. Look at it. See it's all over the page. Yeah, it was really interesting. It took me about 100 150 pages to really settle into the writing style. And once I did, the book began to fly by. The way the pages are set up, when the narrator is talking, it's in quotes, but when other people are talking to him, it's kind of indented and in italics. It's really unique and different. The book is about this kid named Matthew, and he's going through a really, really tough period in his life. His family has never been a perfect family. His mom and dad, marriage issues, and his brother six months ago committed suicide. He was in high school and he was gay and he was being seriously bullied at school and he was depressed and it's really, really sad. It's about Matt, our main character, really dealing with that. How this suicide has affected his views on life, finding peace in himself, and finding hope again in life. You know, I don't usually like to read sad stories, and I don't think I, you know, want to reread it. But it's something that, like, I'm glad I did. So I, I have experienced this type of a story because I've never read anything like this. The main character, he's not too bad. It's, it's, it's cool hanging out with him. The characters are all really interesting. You get a really good feel for all the different people in his life. I wasn't expecting the feelings I had for the different characters in the story. I didn't, I never knew where the story was gonna go and it went in a direction that I really wasn't expecting and I liked that. That made me like the book a lot. It's like a 91% for me. I enjoyed it and I was surprised. So if that sounds at all interesting to you, definitely pick it up and come back and let's discuss it. That's the end of the non-spoilery section. So if you haven't read the book, I'm gonna ask you to leave now. Bye 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 I really like how fleshed out I felt the characters were in this story. Even the characters we don't know, like Hayden's dad and Alexa's mom. We get a really good feel for their family life. It was so weird. His girlfriend, Hayden, I really did not like her. You probably didn't like her either. From the beginning, I was like, eh, not a big fan of her. And then we meet the Alexa in the principal's office for like five seconds and I like her. And I liked the other woman better than I liked Hayden. I was like, stop. Dating Hayden, date Alexa, she's awesome. Matt's parents were just so downers. I know learning about his dad and how he always looks at his sons like mistakes that ruined his life. Even in front of Matt, he's like, yep, I'm not with the love of my life because of you. Are you kidding me? You're not with the love of your life because of you. And the things he said to Luke, it just broke my heart. And then we have Uncle Jesse who is so wonderful. I'm so happy that Matt has someone like Uncle Jesse in his life. I wanted Matt to hang out there all the time. His uncle is so nice and caring. He's the father figure that he, Matt doesn't have. Maybe that's why Matt wanted a gun in the first place, so he can have an excuse to visit his uncle more often. He loves shooting so much because he loves Uncle Jesse and he wants to be where he is. Matt was really angsty. He was always so angry. And he had these really intense mood swings, and obviously we understand. He's just going through a really, really tough time. He just sounded so needy in the beginning of the book. It took a long time for me to kind of grow to like him. At the end, you know, you really respect Matt. You realize that he's not this angry kid that's gonna go blow people up, because that's what we're worried about in the beginning. He's gonna shoot people and stuff. We don't really know him. But no, he's a good kid. He's just he's traumatized by the things that's happened with his brother. And this Gus character, he's just such a wild card. When the reveal came that Gus was just strapped up with bombs, holy shit. <sighs> I, I, I gasped so loud. I'm sitting there reading like, <sighs> Because we know, we know that guy is batshit and he's gonna pull the trigger. It's just a matter of will Matt be in there when he does. When the trigger goes off and Matt is in there, the next place is black. I, did he just die? I, I just sat staring at the page traumatized and like I went to the next page. We still don't really know if he's dead or alive. That's when I started crying. This kid is in so much shit rained upon him and now he gets blown up by a random? Thank God he's alive. I think I still would have liked the book because towards the end I just gained so much respect for the character and I have so much respect for Alexa. Uncle Jesse was like, you don't want to end up looking like me and he does end up looking like him. He was a piece of shrapnel went through his cornea. Ah! My favorite part of the book was toward the end. Toward the end he starts to find hope. Alexa really helps him move forward and move on and it's great. It's great seeing that and then we have this, you know, whole explosion situation and just blows everything to smithereens. But at the same time, he's been so messed up, so emotionally ignored by his family that he's kind of happy that he got blown up because it brings his family together. It's so tragic. Like, I'm happy that his family is kind of rallied around this tragic incident, but 
sad. It was a sad book. Please share your thoughts, your favorite character, what you think of Matt and the end, and the whole idea of this rumble. For me, the rumble wasn't that bit at the end when he heard Luke's voice. It was more like this rumble of hope because he's in this really dark place where there's no light and no sound metaphorically throughout the whole novel. But then there's this rumble like when Alexa comes into his life and when his mom starts getting his life back together. That's how I explain the title in my brain. Like I thought it was gonna be this omniscient presence of God coming into his life. It wasn't what I expected at all. Please share your thoughts. I'm Christine. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye!